Lie time. Looks nicely packed, guys. Got a nice thick user manual here. I'll zoom out a bit, a little bit, sorry. Nice user manual. Like a little, a little bit of a Ziploc bag. Post bolts here. It's pretty cute. A bit of a personal touch. So we got the post bolts by the looks. We got the post caps covers in this here. As you can see, post covers and they've set give us two sets of post bolts. They look like little M6 bolts. Um, yeah, so we got two sets and the post covers very nice. Hmm, very, very nice little battery. Light time reached out to me and asked whether I'd like to review some of their products. Of course, I said yes. Um, Light time was formerly known as Ampere Time. They have been around for a long time. A lot of big YouTubers over the years have tested these batteries out, and they have performed very well over the years. Um, this battery, in particular, is a 12.8 volt, 50 amp hour, or 640 watt hour lithium iron phosphate battery overall seems like a good little battery we'll get um, we'll check the shipping voltage there you go as you can see we got 13.19 volts which is perfect that's ideal for shipping Alright, we're on charge now, 13.56 volt, and we're putting 15 amps in to this little lifetime battery. Very cool. Right, let's have a look at what's in the little Ziploc bag here. So we got the product manual for the 50 amp hour one. Looks like we got some brochure with some other products different products here that they sell. So we've got some stickers. Just stick on the back of your RV. <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's a bit of a personal touch. I like that. I think that's cool. And this is the service warranty card by the looks. Product overview. Um, so just a little bit about it, the recommended charge current is 10 amps for this little battery. We're, buddy bird, we are actually charging at 15 amps, um, seems to be all good. And then maximum discharge current of 50 amps as well. Uh, we'll test that once this is charged. We'll do a capacity test on this battery and then we'll charge it back up again and do a, a um, current test on this so yeah stick around guys if you're liking these videos and this type of content give us a like give us a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel as well if you want to see more of these kind of videos I appreciate it guys it means a lot to me we're fully charged now guys it's on float at the moment um, 13.92, we'll go to the history. So it's taken three and a half hours and 32.5 amp hours to charge this up. Light time do have our warehouse now in Australia, so New South Wales, Australia. So if you do order one of these batteries from the Australian website, 
um, these will get shipped to you reasonably quick this battery here got sent to me within a week from when it was sent out so yeah it's good good that they've got a um, a warehouse now in Australia and they're sending lifetime to the Australian market like I said um, these are yeah very very good batteries they've had um, a good reputation over the years got me trusty battery tester here it's all been reset we're gonna run this battery until the BMF cuts out make sure that the low voltage protection works um, then we'll take it off load and make sure that the BMS wakes up properly like it should So let's get this started. The whole test should take around four and a half hours at 150 watts Get it up to around 150 something like that So 11.5 amps will do 151 152 watts. I think that's going to be good enough While we got the light time on discharge, I thought I'll show you some interesting information in the manual here. So it looks like we got prismatic cells. Um, cycle life is 4,000 times, 100% depth of discharge. Recommended charge current of 10 amps, but a continuous charge max continuous charge current of 50 amps, and a max continuous discharge current of 50 amps. Five second maximum discharge of 100 amps and it looks like we can connect these in series up to a 48 volt system which is good and a parallel connection up to four batteries to make a 200 amp hour um, setup so we've passed the test guys 52.68 amp hours 663.15 watt hours and it's taken four and a half hours as you can see the BMS has woken back up and we've got 10.3 volts perfect that's working as it should Alright, it's time for the fun part guys. Got the smart shunt all hooked up, the app open, as you can see 13.8 volts. Um, hooked up to this King's 1500 watt inverter. I'm gonna run this heat gun here and we'll start pushing 50 amps. See how it handles. We'll run that 15 amps for around 10 minutes. Make sure it passes the test. So let's get started. Inverter's on. You see there, it's using three watts on standby. We'll get this turn on now. Turn that all the way down. Turn this on to one. 150, 160 watts. We'll turn it up. Forty-one amps. Keep it going. There we go, whoop. Over 60 amps. Try to get it down as close to 50 as we can. So, uh, around about there, it's fluctuating, but I think that's gonna be close enough. We'll keep that going for around 10 minutes. Um, check out the time, so it's 9.26 there, so we'll use that as our timer, and yep, see how it goes. Been 10 minutes now guys, and um, yep, all seems good. All the cables are good. So that's a pass guys, look just ticked over 11 minutes, I might crank this up and see um, how it goes with a bit higher amps, so 
So we'll turn it up. So we're on 86 amps now, 87 amps, 1000 watts, 1062 watts. Yeah. Performing like a champ. This little battery. A little bit hot on the negative cable. To be expected, these cables are uh, yeah, pretty well pushing their limits. I'd say that's a pass, guys. Very cool. Just checking out the referral link that um, Lightime has sent me. And if you use my code TechBoxReview on checkout, you'll get 3% discount. Obviously, it's a, um, a sort of a bit of a feel it link, so I get a little bit of commission from any sales that are purchased through my link as well. So, so this is the American site here now, the USA site, United States, so Canada, Germany, UK, Japan, and Australia can buy these batteries from this site. We go to the Australia page for my Aussie mates. As you can see, they've only got the two products here at the moment, but they are going to expand the range. My bad, looks like you can pick some more options if you click through the page. So you've got the 200 amp hour, the 200 amp hour plus, and looks like you've got a 400 amp hour. If um, you use my link, tech box review, my code link so if you use my code tech box review on the checkout through this link you will get a further three percent off these batteries this is the 50 amp hour one we checked out here today yeah very good little batteries so if you wanted to support this channel or you're looking at getting a little battery or a couple batteries to set up a small solar system or a little bit of a battery for camping or whatnot then um, yeah you're welcome to use my link and um, yeah it supports me in this channel as well so get around it guys thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and comment to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you on the next one